So today I just woke up and I had a feeling like I wanted to do some volume on the squats. Usually I never do any volume, it's basically singles, triples, sometimes doubles all the way from an empty bar all the way to the top set. Um, because I squat every day, uh, <laughs> I don't really need a lot of warm-up sets. It's kind of like the, the, the cool thing about squatting every day, your body's always ready to squat. So generally I never do any volume um, and I know a lot of you guys are going to think, well, you can't build strength that way. Um, you're probably right, um, but when you have so much, you know, high intensity volume throughout the week, your body gets stronger for whatever reason. It CNS becomes more efficient and whatever, whatever. But today I wanted to do some squatting, you know, um, some I guess high rep squatting when it comes to me. So uh, I did the bar for 20. I did 60 kilos for 20. I did 100 uh, 100 kilos for 10 reps. And then I did five reps with 140 kilos, and then I did the single with 160 and a top single off 170. So for me, that's regarded as a high volume uh, day. Um, so I did the same thing actually uh, yesterday. Um, so two days in a row I've been doing volume, but for some reason I just kind of feel um, like I want to do it. Um, for, for people that have squatted with, with high frequency will know that when you keep hitting heavy weight, very often, um, your body starts to um, feel, I don't want to say hurt, uh, but your, your, your joints start to feel kind of um, on the edge, I don't know what, what, what term to say, but they don't feel great. Um, joints feel the best, for me at least, when I hit like a set of 20. Um, it just feels like my whole joint, well, my joints are lubricated and I get the pump and it just feels fantastic. Um, whereas with you know high reps with uh, low rep stuff you know singles and whatever, um, you just feel like under under extreme tightness all the time. Like if you if you leave you know the, the gym with um, you've just done a one rep max, you don't feel that well. You know like I always feel better when I just do a you know a drop down set or back back off set you know off ten or fifteen or whatever. You just feel kind of the pump, the blood. You know you recover better. Um, and things of that nature. I don't know. It just feels much, much, much better when you do high rep stuff. Um, but not to the point where you're getting into a lactic acid state. You know, I'm definitely not chasing that um, because with that comes in, you know, high demands on recovery and blah, 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 blah. So today was one of those days. I did a whole bunch of reps um, and then also I've done a bit of deadlifting today. Now, I did deadlifting last time, probably two weeks ago. Um, the reason I'm not doing any sort of you know, high frequency with that at all, it's quite the opposite of the squat, is because um, it's, it's hard to, it's, it's quite hard to recover from both the deadlift and the squat sort of, you know, in, in the same workout. Um, so I've been looking for, you know, if you guys have been following the videos, I've been looking for other ways to hit the posterior chain without, you know, draining the CNS system. So the kettlebell um, is something that I've been experimenting, experimenting recently. I'm gonna hit this, um, uh, stood up this video, do, you know, do a couple of sets of swings. Um, that really, really gets my glutes. Um, uh, I've never done kettlebell swings in, in, in my life before, um, but yeah, they feel amazing. Um, hamstrings, the glutes really fire up. Um, I've only got a 20 kilo kettlebell, so that's you know um, really easy on the central nervous system, I guess. Um, but yeah, today I did uh, some deadlifting purely for the hook grip. For those of you that, that pull with the hook grip, will know that if you leave the hook grip. Um, and don't practice it for quite some time, the skin on your thumbs becomes soft again. Um, and when you go back to you know, hook gripping, it hurts like hell again. So you want to condition that skin um, you know, often, I guess, at least once a week, you know, do something with the hook grip just to you know, have that skin kind of develop tougher. Um, so when you pull a heavy single, um, your, your skin doesn't basically tear off and you, know, you don't cry uh, with every rep. Um, so that's basically it. Um, quite an easy day today, I think. Um, yeah, like a 45 to an hour uh, long session. Get in, get out. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll recover today, eat some food, and then come back, maybe hit a, you know, something heavier tomorrow. Cheers, guys.